In March 2023, I took a trip to Austria and Germany and happened to be passing by on my journey from Vienna to Munich, a little village called Kuckel, which is where Theodore Ilian, the writer and explorer, spent the last years of his life and that's where he died and was buried. So I took the opportunity just to visit the grave and see what, what condition it was in. So this is Kuckel, a little tiny town near Salzburg. I think it's about uh, 20 kilometers south of Salzburg. There's only one church in the little town. So that wasn't difficult to find. Fortunately, we found a picture of the grave and I could use that to help me search for it. And I went around and I went around and I could not find this gravestone at all. But what I did find was the gravestone next to Ilian's grave. This is the photo we found on the internet. In the background you can see it, the grave behind it, H.I.E. 1926. And this is Ilian's grave, it says on it, Theodore Burang, which was one of his pen names. And I discovered that this empty spot here is where Ilian's grave should have been. You see the grave behind Hegelsberger, that's the one in the picture, 1926. So it's been removed. Just an empty space. But it's definitely the spot because the grave behind it, my guess is that with no surviving relatives, no family to pay for the rent of that plot. The body in the grave was all removed by the church and probably the bones were put into an ossuary. I believe the custom in these Catholic churches is that the body is removed and it's put into an ossuary. And an ossuary is anywhere where the bones can be removed from the grave and stored probably in a crypt underneath the church a bit like a catacomb 